Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Factory Synth by Sugar Bites. Oh yes, yes. Factory got ported from the desktop and it's just <laughs> brilliant. Okay, so, I mean, it really is a super deep, super cool synth. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know how to program all this because I don't, but it comes with over 400 presets. Now, there is a free version which gives you a taste of the synth. You can play around with it. You can't save presets. You can't use it as an AUV3. Um, but you can sample the sounds, you know, there are there are some presets available and you can tweak them and play with the mod matrix and stuff like that. But this is the full version, I think it's $17.99 if you want to unlock it, that unlocks the AUV3 and also included get you get like over 400 presets and then you can save your own etc etc the, the usual thing you can do when you do an unlock so i have four of these running in aum and at the moment it, all of them are running off the artoria uh key step um here which you just can't see and um so they're all triggering at the same time although i only have this one turned up but all of these four triggering at the same time, four poly you, you'll be able to see the DSP there. At the moment, it's running about 30%. So here is a sound from this one here. Now that is actually, you can't hear them, but that's triggering all of them, and we're only up to about 32%. So oh, this is an iPad 2018 uh, 9.7 entry-level model. So, you know, set with the extra memory. So let's start to bring a few of these, uh, fade a few more of these in. Awesome, cool beans, top job. Okay, so uh, let's choose this off. So you can see, uh, oh, you can't see actually, what you'll do is, uh, actually, you know it runs in AUM. Well, I'll open the standalone version, if I can find it here at the end, there it is, there. and you'll get it, you can see it clear without all this messing around. So. Him. Here is a patch. This one's called 80s bass by the looks of it, or oh, or 80, 801s bass. So. You, you, oh, this microphone, you can see, <clears throat> uh, this is the, yes, you can have a sequencer, uh, modulator, you have articulation here, you have your effects control here. The effects are cool, you have all these effects, including a, a shimmer, a shimmer reverb as well, spring reverb, so we'll have a listen to them in a bit. Um, <clears throat> nice, oh, the filter's actually amazing, right? <laughs> So this is, look, 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 two pole, low pass, <clears throat> but you also have uh, four pole, eight pole, low pass, uh, low pass, high pass, mid boost, band reject, band pass, high pass, peak EQ comb, and a vowel filter as well. So you get a massive range of uh, 
of filter options. And then you have your resonance, your drive. And then you'll have these two oscillators here. These are quite a, quite a remarkable thing. So you open up a, an oscillator section, for instance, like this. Yeah, there is an init patch as well, by the way. And these are all your different oscillators. You have waveguide, you have a wavetable drone, you have the formant, the sync, wavetable pulse width mod, transformer, formant, fractal sync, and pulse sync. And then you have the same for this. So you, for instance, you select, right, listen. Select a different wave like formant. And then you can... So, for instance, on the actual format one, these are the controls you get here. And then if you open it up and you go with the uh, wave guide, you'll see that you get another menu here. So listen to this is let's listen to oscillator one. Let me get rid of the sub. So you have a sub oscillator as well and a noise. little volumes across the top there so That's just the clean, that clean oscillator one. And then if you open up the sub menu there, these are all the waveguide samples, and you'll you'll see that each one <clears throat> also has a, a you know a sub menu as well. We could go, and then you can sc scroll through them individually. So it's pretty cool. You can build up some massive, massive, massive patches just by playing with your, you know, messing around with your your, your, your oscillators yourself. Just bring the sub back in. Here. can be quite vicious you know so <clears throat> excuse me just a sec okay i am back now you can select all your different like you i feel familiar with the uh, sugar bites other stuff as well they, they use this similar kind of uh dig down deep menu sort of thing so you could go okay well let's try a evolving and let's try an uh a, a, a breathe escape now i will i will warn you that some of these sounds as soon as you hit this, will play, and some of them will be quite loud because some of them are sample, sample and hold sounds, and they will just kind of run. So I'm just going to turn the volume of the synth down, select the preset, and bring it back up so we can hear what's going on. So let's choose this breathescaper here. So it's good there's nothing there, but I would advise that you, you kind of adjust the volume as you go. So let's have a look at this. Now it's got the, it's got the transformer scene. A transformer has a little wave, and then you can change the samples that are used. Right, it looks like you can import your own samples as well, which is very cool, beans. But you can also change the. You've got environments, instruments. So in the sound now is waterfall by the looks of it. So we could go to environments, and we could go dark sci-fi drone. And we can see that we've got two shimmers going here on a reverse delay. Turn the reverse off. We could change this shimmer to, say, a...
awesome. So let's choose another sound. I'll show you what I mean about the actual, uh, like the, we can switch that off. And if we try and locate sample and hold here like this, I'll just turn this volume down. If I select like a, a, a sound here, like infinity three, theoretically it should be playing, but it's not. But some of them, some of them will. That, like for instance, that one, this one. That's not even using the sequencer. I haven't quite worked out to stop that yet. I'm sure it's pretty easy. Must watch the instructional videos. Right, so. Um, if I like, let me show you the sequences as well. There's a lot to get through, and I don't want to just just do uh, sounds. I want to show you the different uh, parts of the synth as well, so you'll get an idea. So here we go. So um, I don't know what this will sound like. I'll turn the volume up. Okay, so that's kind of a, a drum pattern. Let's have a look. go and have a look at this. Then hit. Um, I'm not sure why that should do. That. See, I don't know enough about the actual synth. modulation matrix is really cool because you can right listen to the sound change dramatically if i hit the dice because what it does is it leaves the modulation in in place there your modulation points and you can see the percentage up here change if i you can move the modulation percentages around like this and then you can tweak the lfo see like that and then you can have it kind of set to all sorts of cool stuff. Like you could set it to the mod wheel, see? So it's... Depending on how you, how you have it set, obviously. Right, so... Uh, I'm sorry if this video is a bit sketchy. I, have, I was going to have the day off today, but I couldn't resist. I really wanted to do this. Um... I'm not feeling great, actually. I've got a, I've, well, just a pants cold. That, and it's nothing serious. Just a, just the feel poo. Pretty cool. But my point being here is I think this the sequence is running. So if we randomize, you can do all these not the best example to show you is it um let me try something like this one So you have like in like in um, uh, th like in thesis and things like that. You have this really cool, and in egoist, you have this really cool kind of module. You can like modulate in the sequencer as it's traveling, al traveling along, sort of thing, which is very very cool beans. <laughs> and then it, you can then randomize. What well, you're not randomizing the actual matrix points. You're randomizing what the the the, the LFOs are controlling. So. That's 
took that out. So that stopped, that's whatever I've done there stopped that sound. So anyway, so let's try this one. See, I'm not really sure how to. Ah, oh, no. that's it. You have different tracks. Of, it is like a factory of sound. Uh, let's see, let's see. So you have complex stuff. Uh, that's complex digital, complex sequence, just complex. Right, and I, again, I shall make sure that my volume is. So Aussie bass is kind of like a didgeridoo. To engage the actual um, the mod matrix, you just touch a point. What, so, if you, for instance, right, if we want to go with, say, uh, I can't really say oscillator one beat sequence two, you touch and drag, positive and negative sort of thing. But you could just start adding stuff till you. synth man it's deep it's a deep deep synth uh, I like the idea that you can just sort uh, you know you can just find stuff that you want uh, so this would be I'm gonna be careful of the volume again just in case Oh, my God. 
I've got to be honest with you. It is. It is awesome, isn't it? Seriously, though. <laughs> I wish you felt better. Um, so... So picking another one, I mean, just picking, I mean, there's dr like the drums as well, there's re re reverb, let's have a listen to reverb, re 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 let's have a listen to, let's reverb pluck, right, so let's see. Right, you can see the modulation in action here. Kind of almost... The sounds are just awesome. So let's have a listen to some pads. Like I said, you just you have to make sure that that. You have to make sure that your um, volume is set to a sensible level before you start playing with the different sounds because otherwise you will get some that are pretty loud or will just start to play. Now there's a sound. Let's take me octaves down. That's the modulation wheel. Uh, so the, the pitch bend. See, this is playing on its own. There are an awful lot of sounds, an awful lot, for you to start to play with. So you've got distorted reverbs, arps, analog, complex, just synth, choir. Not 
really sure how that's a choir sound, but... The effects are this base class. <laughs> and then you got some strings. There's a cool sound. Vintage fear. Oh, hey. Not sure why I'm be... Perhaps I'm doing something wrong. Oh, listen, guys. <clears throat> I've, gone, I've gone on long enough anyway. But this is literally, really, a kind of synth I could play with all the live long day. Just going through the patches, having a mess around. No, I have no clue what I'm doing. Don't say you don't know what you're doing. I already know. You're telling me something I already know. Um, with synths like this, uh, I think it's... Well, it's everything, isn't it? You've got all sorts of stuff going on. For you guys who do program synths properly like this, I mean, you can see what you get. You get an awful lot of control. Um, I think it's... Like I said, you can download it for free. Check it out. Have a mess around, you know. Uh, then you can decide if you want to buy the full thing, get your AUV3s going, stuff like that. Listen, guys, I'm going to go, and uh, I'm probably going to go back to bed for a bit now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Right, anyway, so, um, yeah, Sugar Bites Factory um, is available now. I shall put a link in the description below. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and putting up with me, um, you know, skipping all over the place, but just cool beans, top bananas. See you guys later, ta-da.